congrats on passing your part 107 exam. Now, what do you do? Well, we're going to go over five things to do, give you a little checklist after passing your part 107 exam. First things first, log on and check to verify that your information is correct. So worst case scenario, you get to pick something, you get to fix something really quick. Best case scenario, you just waste a couple minutes to make sure that your information is correct. Want to make sure that you're up to date and that you didn't fat finger, put the wrong thing in into the FAA's website. So A, they know where to send it to B, you're still 100% within their guidelines of everything to do. I'll put a link down below so that you can go directly to the website and double check for yourself. But it's like anything else, just better to be safe than sorry. Number two, get a flight log. You can double it up, you can be cheap and easy. Um, There are planes here. Now you can find a lot of them online from like Amazon, Google, whatever. But as long as you have just the basic of what needs to be in per each flight, you're still covered. Same goes for a maintenance log. Again, I'm just lazy, so I just double them up. So anytime I add anything onto the back of it, just go into the back, add it in. Or anytime I have a flight, I'll go in and I'll put it in. It's one of those things that gets really tedious. But it's better to have it, not need it, than need it, not have it. God forbid you just happen to get fact-checked by someone who, who can fact-check you. Comment down below on the individuals who can ask you for your certification. Number three, consider landing gear. Now, you can get those cool little landing pads and whatever works for you, works for you. I'm on the minimalist side, so the original option that I got was this cool one right here that can easily attach onto your drone and make it a lot easier. One of the worst things that could possibly happen, thank God, knock on wood, it hasn't happened to me yet, is that you have something maybe, maybe miscalculated, the grass is just a little too high, maybe you, know, you get a little bit too much dust in something, whatever. Safety overall make sure to just have either a little landing pad or the ones that I love. I will link these below. They are the PGY Tech. Love them. Because they attach onto the drone and it's one less thing for you to worry about because you can just pop it off, you're good to go. So again, as with anything with this, guys, yeah, safety matters. And it's if it's just one thing that you could do to make sure that you are 100% safe, to make sure that everybody else is safe, do it. Peace of mind. Number four, find a way or set in your schedule to continue learning. Whether or not you brush up on the stuff that you had to learn to get your certification or you just want to continue learning, you want to be a better pilot, you want to know as much as possible so you can teach other people, whatever. Continue learning. If you can learn something, you can forget it. So make sure that you do what you can to keep yourself safe and keep the sky safe for everyone else because it's a great opportunity whether or not you do this just to pass the time and to relieve stress or you do this professionally. If you're safe and we're all making sure to be safe, a lot less to worry about. So go over everything. Also, number two, comment down below for how often you have to recertify or renew your license last but not least this one will be debatable for everyone but find a website find a way to offload and potentially make some money on those shots those videos that you're taking because what are you going to do you're just going to delete them you're going to throw them somewhere why not find a way to make a little bit of passive income because who doesn't love money and in this economy of course so find a way, and with that, it's like anything else. If you start seeing a little bit of a ching run in, then things like finding a way to educate yourself become a lot more important because you want to be better. Then finding ways to edit become a lot more important because you want to be better, you want to make more. 
not telling you to incentivize everything, but it's always why not? If you have these videos and these photos sitting around, why not find a way to make them work for you? Now, comment down below if there's some other things that you think are more important to learn or to, to do after you pass your certification, or let me know if any of these are things that you are gonna add to your checklist or have missed. So stay safe guys, appreciate you, and uh, if you got any value out of this, share it with someone or like, comment, and subscribe. See you on the next one. Cheesy.